Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you this curling photo technique and baby announcement that you can make from a regular snapshot. You can apply these same techniques to any photo and for any event. This document is 2000 by 1500 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Make a copy of your original photo by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. To remove all the color, press Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Let's soften our photo and give it a slight dreamy effect. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. The Filter Gallery window will open. Open Distort and choose Diffuse Glow. For this photo, I'll choose 0 for graininess, 3 for glow amount, and 10 for clear amount. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your photo, you may want to adjust these numbers. Let's add a white border around our photo. Click on the FX icon and choose Stroke. The Layer Style window will open. Click the color box, choose White and click OK. Make the position inside and I'll make the size 40 pixels. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Go to the monochrome photo, press Shift and click down. This highlights both layers. We'll merge these two layers together. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus E. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This makes a new layer directly below the active layer. Click on the foreground color and pick a color for your background. I'll choose a pink. To fill the empty layer with your color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click on your black and white photo to make it active and press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool. At the top, click on the Warp icon. This creates a grid of nine sections. By clicking on any point or line, you can drag it to warp the image. Click on the top corner and drag it diagonally down. To ensure your photo doesn't look too distorted, you can click and drag on the intersections to straighten the horizontal and vertical lines a bit more. When you're happy with it, press Enter or Return. We're going to paint white on the underside of the curled image. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the thumbnail. This will call up its selection. Press Z to call up your zoom tool and zoom into the curled area. To move it, press the space bar, click and drag it. Call up your pencil tool and click on the double curved arrow to reverse the foreground and background colors. You can also press X to do this. We'll keep the blend mode normal and the opacity 100%. To make your brush size larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket keys respectively. Now paint in the underside of the curl. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. Call up your magic wand tool and decrease the tolerance to 1. Click on the curl and press Q to change the selection into a quick mask. Press B to call up your pencil tool and press X to reverse the foreground and background colors. Paint over the areas outside of the curl itself. To see your entire image on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. Continue until only the curl is showing. Press Q to make it into a selection and press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Let's brush in a shadow under the curl. Click on the photo to make it active and press D to make the foreground and background colors default to black and white. Call up your brush tool and change the opacity to about 30 percent and change the blend mode to multiply. Click on the photo to make it active and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it again to call up its selection. Let's hide the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command plus H. Now brush in a shadow under the curl. Let's merge these two layers together. Click on the top layer and press Ctrl or Command plus E. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called Champignon which you can download for free at defont.com. Open your Paragraphs tab. If you don't see it, go to Window and click Paragraph. I'm choosing Flush Right for this example. I'll click back on the Characters tab, click on the document and type out the text. 
If your word needs some kerning, place your cursor between the letters you want to bring closer or separate more, and then press Alt or Option as you press on the left or right arrow keys. I'll type out my second line. To bring both lines closer together, I'll highlight both lines, go to the letting window, and slide the icon to the left. I'll type out my third line and kern it. I want to increase the size of the name, so I'll highlight it and slide the size to the right. To move it, I'll click on just to the right of the word and drag it. I'll continue resizing and kerning my text. Once I'm happy with it, I'll close the text windows. Let's change the color of the text. Go to your text layer, right-click it, and choose Rasterize Type. Click on your adjustment layer icon and choose Solid Color. Pick a color you like and click OK. Press Alt or Option as you hover your cursor between the two layers. When you see a clipping mask symbol appear, click down. This makes the layer affect only the one layer beneath it. Click on the text layer to make it active and click on the FX icon. Choose Bevel and Emboss. We'll make the style outer bevel and the direction down. Make the size 3 pixels, the highlight opacity 100%, and the shadow opacity to 25 percent. Let's add a paper texture to our color background. Click on your color background to make it active and go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open Texture and choose Texturizer. We'll choose Sandstone, 75 percent for the scaling, 5 for the relief, and the light is from the top. Using these techniques you can transform any snapshot into an elegant beautiful announcement. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.